All right, check this out, everyone. We got a nice uh, upgrade in the garage. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking it's the cardboard. It's looking nice and clean and, and lifted. I don't know if you noticed, but it was sagging and whatnot. We lifted it up. We secured a little bit. There's no leaks. It's not the cardboard. I think you'll notice it's the Aston Martin Vanquish. Check that out. Now, the question of the day is, I'm 6'6". Can I fit into that car? Am I too big? I'm too big for some cars. It's always the question I have is, is that something that I could fit in, that I could drive safely and so forth? So before we do that, I want to tell you guys a little bit about, about the car and just sign kind of some, uh, some cool things, give you a little background on it and so forth. And uh, we got uh, James. We got Jan James here. Hello. Hey, what's up? He's a little spot check. It's great. Uh, he doesn't know a lot about cars either. So we're gonna tell him and you guys just a little bit about this particular car and it's kind of some cool things and then we'll see if I can fit in it and uh, see if it's something that maybe I could drive, you know, casually and comfortably and safely. So let's get to it. So James, why don't I tell you a little bit about uh, this car? Okay. So right here, we got a 2014 Aston Martin Vanquish. Originally retails for over 300k, you know, nice little little sum there. But uh, it's depreciated a little bit since then. It's just going for about 140k right now. Uh, pretty sweet. We got some uh, nice hood scoops here. Still nice and warm. Oh, that feels good. It's getting cold. Winter. Whew. Yeah, nice. You probably roast some marshmallows. We should try that. We should. We should try we that. We should roast some marshmallows. Get the engine bay going. So we'll do that later, maybe. We got some yellow calipers. It's a $1,500 option. You know, if you want, if you're feeling like it's a pretty clean cut, you know, it's an Aston Martin. It's just as simple as a dignified ride. But if you need a little bit of touch of wild, get the yellow calipers, $1,500. Uh, let's talk about these doors. Check this out. Love these handles. I mean, that's just, that's just seamless. It's cool, different, but yet still simple and not, uh, overly complicated my grandma could still figure out how to get in type of thing so you got to respect that the lines of this car are beautiful gas cap is here essential gas it's essential and now uh this is one of the uh one of my favorite things about the vanquish is just this little bit here uh it's pretty just it's a nice touch you know if you didn't have that this car could be more on the boring side but that just adds an element of say, saying, I'm special, I'm different. That's what that's doing. Now that we made it here to the driver's side door, let's see, let's see if I fit. Let's see if this is something that uh, I could drive. I do like, look at this door swing up. I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera at all, but the door swings up, which is kind of a nice feature. Again, as a big guy, the door comes up to meet me. It's a nice touch. I appreciate Aston Martin for thinking about me. So you sit in, hit your head a little bit, a little low, but this is, this is not bad. I don't fall all the way down to the road to get in. By the way, uh, unicorn socks, in case anyone's curious, from uh, the Disney movie Inside Out. That's what we got rolling here. Oh yeah, this is not bad. I got room, my leg between the wheel and the console. This is key, you always check the wheels all the way up. This is key right here for a big man. Can you fit your leg and have gaps so that you can turn the wheel and so forth? That's one of the key things. And I think we're good. It's a little close, but uh, I think I could comfortably drive this at 180 miles an hour and be able to react as I need to without having my leg get in the way. And that's important when you're driving an, an exotic car. How can you physically react when you're going 180? Not that I would ever go 180, keep it at 55, uh, James, just oh, FYI, that's not that's 55. good. Okay, oh, good to know. So, very good, very good to know. Yep. We'll catch y'all later, James. If you could uh, open oh. that garage, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, hand me the keys. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, I'll be seeing you later. Just get get the garage. Get the he doesn't know how to start the car. That I know of for sure. He has no idea how to start the car. Push button start. Also the key, $750. You appreciate the touch and the simple things. Oh. <laughs> Fail. Here we go. It's a glass key. 
There we go. I, I haven't driven it yet. I didn't even know if I could sit in it, let alone how to start it. Now we know how to start it. You put the key in, and uh, I, I don't know how to. Oh. Oh, no. close. Yep, you were. Just do that again. So now that we got that figured out, reverse is the R button, so I'm good. The Aston Martin Vanquish, a great car for a big guy. See y'all later. Oh, hey, real quick, I forgot. I'm going to Dubai, and depending how long it takes me to post this video, I might already be in Dubai, so we'll have some more videos coming up soon with James. I'm taking James along as well. We're gonna do some cool car stuff. I didn't know we were um, going to Dubai. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. that's we're awesome. Leaving, we're leaving Whoa. like soon, like tomorrow oh. night. Oh, okay. So stick around. We're going to have some cool videos. I'll, I'll tag James's channel too. He's going to start one and uh, below. And so uh, follow our journey. It's going to be sweet. And uh, see ya.